Today, we are gonna make some darts. We're gonna go over how to sew a dart, three different ways to finish a dart tip, and what the heck is a dart? And when do you use it? First things first, what is a dart? A dart is an intake of fabric to create shape. So you can see on the dress form here, we have a sloper dress and we have a dart. So the dart is taking in the fabric to create shape in the bodice. A lot of times it's gonna go from the waist to the bust or from the waist to the hips, but you can find darts in lots of different places. On a pattern, a dart is generally indicated with a triangle shape, or you're going to see two spots at the bottom of the pattern for the bottom of the dart legs, and you're just going to see a mark for the tip. You only need those three little spots to create the dart. Let's take a closer look and go over the anatomy of the dart. So at the bottom of the dart, you're going to see two little notches on your pattern and notches are indications of things that line up. So that's why we have one on each leg here. So that way we know where to fold later. And speaking of legs, these here are our dart legs, which connect to the dart point, which is the very tip of the dart. And then the extra fabric or space in between the dart legs is called the dart underlay or the dart intake. And that's the anatomy of a dart. Now that you know all that, I'm gonna go over some different ways you can mark your dart on your fabric. When we mark our dart, we always wanna mark it on the wrong side of the fabric. So I'm gonna flip my fabric over so we're on the wrong side of the fabric. And now I'm going to place my template here at the edge of my fabric. We're gonna pretend this is a fake little skirt here that we're making. You always wanna make sure you weight down your paper so it does not move on you. Now, one of the easiest ways to mark it is with chalk. So you would just mark in your dart legs in your dart point. If you don't have a hole yet in your dart point, what you wanna do is go ahead and take an awl and you can just make a little hole up there. So I'm gonna reline that up. And now I can easily take my chalk and put it through that little hole. Now, if we remove our paper pattern, you'll see that we have three spots indicating our dart. So we have the dart leg points, and then we have our dart tip. Another way you can mark a dart is by taking the awl and pushing it into your fabric. It's gonna put a little hole in your fabric, but it's not really making a hole. It's just pushing the fibers away. And then at the very bottom, you can go ahead and just snip into it. You can only snip into it like an eighth of an inch, just a little bit. If you snip into it too far past your seam allowance, you will have a hole in your project. But snipping in just a little bit is okay. And the third way to mark a dart is with thread tack. So you're going to take some thread, you're going to put it on your needle. And now what you're gonna do is take your needle and go through the dart tip. You're gonna go through all the layers of your fabric. So you've got more than one, you're gonna go through Go ahead, give it a pull, make sure you have some thread on the other side and cut. So that's indicating our dart tip. And so now if we flip it over, you can also see that little piece of thread on the paper there. And now you're gonna do the same thing for the bottom of your dart legs. Just go ahead, stick the thread through, leave about an inch of thread on both sides so that way it doesn't come out while you're working with it. Here we go. So now you've marked the dart with these things called thread tacks. And if we remove our paper, your thread tacks will still be there. So you have those spots indicated that you need to create your dart. You have the dart tip and then you have the bottom of the dart legs. So now that we have the spots indicated for our dart, what you can do is draw in those dart legs so that way you have something to follow while you're sewing. Once you get really good at these, you won't need to draw on the dart legs, but they're great if you're just beginning. So line up the ruler with the tip of the dart and then the bottom of the dart leg and just connect those two, connect the dots. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing for the other side of the dart. So bottom of the dart leg with the dart tip. Now we have our dart drawn onto the back of our fabric. Now that we have our dart all marked, it's time to fold it and sew it. First thing we're gonna do is match the two notches or the two dart legs here. So we're gonna fold it right sides together and we need to match those up. So whether you cut into it or you have thread tacks or you have chalk there, make sure they're lined up. Now you can't see through your fabric, so how do you know if they're actually lined up? Take your pin, push it through, and is it coming out in the same spot on the other side? If it's not, just move it over a little bit and line it up. Take your pin, push it back through to the top, and now we have the bottom nice and lined up. Now for the tip of the dart, you wanna make sure that it is directly on the fold of the fabric. So I can see that it is right here with that thread tack. We're gonna take another pin and go in and back out. Since we have a nice long dart, we're gonna make sure we're checking our alignment in the middle of the dart. 
So go ahead, put your pin through your leg of the dart. See if it's coming out of the leg on the other side. That one looks good. So now we can go ahead and push the pin back up to the top. So now we have our dart folded in half and we know we have it balanced and lined up from the bottom to the top. Now let's go over how to sew a dart. But before we do that, I'm gonna give you three options for ending your dart tip. Your first option is the back stitch, just two little back stitches at the very tip of the dart. This is my preferred method, nice and secure. And then second, what you can do is when you get to the very tip of the dart, maybe the last quarter of an inch, you're gonna take your stitch length and make it 0.5 or 0.2. So these little stitches are basically getting integrated into the weave of your fabric and they're not gonna go anywhere. Method three, it's coming to the very edge of the fabric. Don't back stitch, don't use a tiny stitch, but leave nice long thread tails and tie them in a knot. I totally suggest trying all three of these dart tip styles and figuring out which one you like best because one is just gonna feel right to you. Now that you have all of that great information about darts, let's actually sew this dart up and go over what makes a great dart. So we sew a dart, we're gonna start at the bottom of the dart where those notches form. We're gonna remove our pin and we're gonna make sure that we're sewing on our chalk line. If you drew a chalk line, we wanna back stitch at the bottom of the dart. i move mine over just a little, there we go. So a couple stitches forward, a couple stitches backwards, lock it in place. And now you're going to follow that chalk line that you drew or you're just going to angle to the very tip of the dart. Whenever you get close to a pin, make sure you stop and take it out. You should be gradually coming off the fabric. You wanna make sure that you're gradually coming off to have a nice smooth dart. By the time you reach your dart tip, you wanna be one thread off of the fabric and then choose your dart tip method. I'm going to be doing the back stitch and then cut. So you can see that we have just gradually come off the fabric, blending right into the fabric. So when we flip this fabric over to the right side, you're gonna notice that this dart tip just blends beautifully into the fabric. There is no bubble here. If you end up with a bubble here, that means that you came off the fabric too fast and not gradually enough. So the inside of your dart should look like this. It's basically this little flap of fabric. So remember, a dart is an intake of fabric to create shape. So we have created the shape. So it has taken it in at the bottom and released it up at the top. So you can imagine this on the bust of a bodice. Next, we need to iron the dart. And you wanna make sure you're always ironing your darts towards center front, towards center back, or down. So I have it ironed over to one side, and then if we flip it over to the front, you can see how nice and flat it is and how nicely it just blends into the fabric. Now you can see how this flat piece of fabric is taking shape around the body. And that's the magic of a dart. It lets us manipulate the fabric to the curves of our body. That way we get beautifully fitted clothing. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. I hope you had fun and you learned a lot about making darts. If you have any questions, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And if you have any ideas for videos, leave those down below too, because I would love to create them for you. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all the social media, so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And if you're in Chicago, come on in and take a sewing class in the design studio. You can sign up for those at sewingastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.